You have made an exciting choice to pursue for CS4 certification exam. But you might be feeling lost when it comes to registering for CS4 certification exam. Well, fear not. Your favorite channel, Sales for Zulk, is here to help you out. In this video, I'll guide you through each and every step which you need to take in order to register for Sales for certification exam. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, in order to register for Sales for certification exam, we need to create an account over a website which is Salesforce Web Assessor. So, Web Assessor is simply a platform which conducts Salesforce, Salesforce certification exams. In order to go to Web Assessor platform, you need to search over Google Web Assessor Salesforce. And then you will get the very top search result. So, you have to go to that particular result, which is webassessor.com slash Salesforce. And now, if you haven't created any account over this platform yet, then you have to go to this particular link, which is create new account at the very top right corner. You can see. I'll click on this create new account. Now, I have to provide my information over here, like the WebSSL login. This must be alphanumeric. So, and uh, like... Uh, So I'll provide like this. It could be an email address as well. So I'm using my email address itself. And in the password, I have to specify the password, which is having a cap one capital letter, total eight digit or more than that, and one special character, and some numbers as well. Now after this, you have to provide your legal name, first legal name, like the legal name uh, which is there on your identity, any of the identity proof like driving license and all. So that when you go to on, for on-site examination, the proctor or the pe person, or the invigilator can verify your identity there at the center itself. Now you have to specify your email address here as well. After this, you have to specify your phone number. And then you have to specify your address, then your city, and then your state. Before selecting the state, you have to select the country. Like, uh, obviously, I'll select India, and then I'll select my country, uh, my, like, the state is simply over here and then the postal code I have to provide. Now, finally I have to specify here the email address which is like the email address of my trailer account. If you don't know what is trailer account then do watch one of our video there in over Salesforce channel. Other than that, like uh, if you already have created any account on Trailer, then you you have to use the same email address as you have used for that Trailer account. And uh, if you haven't created yet, then make sure whenever you will be creating a Trailer account, you will be using the same email address as what I am what what you will be specifying over in this particular field. So. I'm specifying the same. And then I have to specify here the company name, the company I'm working in. And then I have to specify my name, which will appear on any of my certificate. So I'll specify the name here. Now I have to select the uh, one of the three options like SFDC employee, SFDC customer and SFDC partner. So what all these options are? If I am working, uh, I am a working professional working in a Salesforce company, then I'll be selecting here sales SFDC employee. If I am a learner or I am a customer of Salesforce product, then I'll be selecting SFDC customer. If in case I am working in one of the Salesforce partner company, then I'll be selecting SFDC partner. So hope it is clear. I am selecting right now SFDC partner. Now here, verification opt-in. This option is basically for you 
to make your certifications public like anyone can go to one of the website which is trail ad uh, verification website there he will be he or she will be writing your name and then he'll get to know like uh, with that name whichever person is have done how many certification what all certification he had done in in case this is selected as yes if you are selecting no then nobody can check that check your verif uh, verify your certifications so i am selecting yes over here then now then then here it is specified that your role is in which sector like you are from public sector or private sector so you can select accordingly now i am saving this finally so now i'll log in click on this login button and now i am going to provide my credentials over here and log into this webassessor account after putting my email, log login uh, and then the password you can see now i am redirected to my account right this is my account which i have just now created so at the very beginning you will be seeing over here like there is something like two options coming like you agree to the policy or not obviously i'll be clicking on this agree button after this you can see uh under this home tab these all options are there like scheduling and exam these are the different art articles you can go through depending on what you are selecting for like while registering for seals for certification exam so that you will get the current and updated knowledge about the certification exam so you can select you can click on this to see and this one and these these all documentation you can refer so that whenever you are applying you will be applying for certification with updated knowledge now moving ahead in order to register obviously you have to follow some few like few simple steps you have to click on this tab register for an exam and after that you have to select which certification exam you want to give you want to give associate level and under associate also there are various certification exams like seals for certified associate seals for certified ai associate and under admin as well there are various certification exams like seals for certified admin seals for certified advanced admin seals for certified business analyst so these are the different different certifications are there let's suggest for seals for certified administration so here you can see there are three options coming first option is online proctor which means you can give your exam online at your at the comfort comfort of your home itself or wherever you want to you can give it from your device itself other than that is the next option which is on site you have to go to one of the place nearby your like one of the center of salesforce web assessor itself there you have to go and you have to give the exam and the third one is event proctored it means you have to give the exam on any of the coming event which is going to held so you can click on this you will find the options according to that you can see these are the different events which are going to happen so you can select these right but you can give the, this kind of certification exam by invitation only right so let's select the other options let me select uh, here the online one okay now you can see there is an option to select the dates so we can select any of the date which are available obviously like and then we can select the time here on whatever the time we want to give the exam after selecting that we need to check this check box and uh, yeah of obviously like make sure to select the right time and uh, according to your availability itself and then you can 
select click on select button after that you can apply over here voucher or coupon whichever the coupon uh, like uh, you have you can apply here you can see here is the start time the schedule the certification exam name the length of the exam and its price the price with gst so that is over here and now you can specify over here any voucher if you have and you can submit that if you don't have you can directly click on checkout button in order to move ahead with the billing options so you can click on checkout option and then you can specify your debit card or credit card information over here then the further information and you can submit then you will have to pay after completion of this whole process and registering for your certification exam then you can check over here if you have selected of course if you have selected for online exam then in under my assessment tab you will get all the steps over here in order to check your system is correct or not it's is it uh, like proper uh, to to do your verification all the steps will be there itself in this particular tab after registration of your first certi certification exam then and uh, also you will be able to see whichever exam you have scheduled for like uh, in progress exams completed exams all of the details under this tab my assessment and whatever the transactions you had done you can see under this tab which is receipts tab so yeah over here you can see you can download and check the receipts related to the transaction which you had done for registering for any certification exam and if you need more information then obviously you can check all the details like all the documents which are there provided over this particular tab register for an exam and the home tab as well so you can check out these all options so that you will get to know for online what all things you need to take care of and for offline what all things you need to take care of for an example i can show you like for online exams like there are some instructions over here specified over here and for the on site exams also like you can see it is specified over here like you need to carry your like uh, for the on site exam you need to carry two of your uh, like uh, identity identity proof like two in the first two steps the that first two uh, like points it is specified and in the third point you can see you also have to carry your authorization code which you have received on the registration confirmation mail so these are the things you need to take care of you can read more to understand more and more things if you want to otherwise whatever i have told you is more than enough but in case this video become older and older you can obviously check out these different different documents so that you will get the updated information that's all from my side that's all you need to know i hope this video cleared all your doubts regarding registration so prepare well follow our youtube videos and ace your exam also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to salesforce help for more such insightful videos all the best for your exam